Oh my. I I lied. This is I like this one. So then <laughs> what should we do now? I like this one. Take <laughs>what's going on guys it's your boy cash and i'm re-recording this because uh mistakes were made anyway you don't have to worry about that we're going to be going through the state of uh, state of play uh all the chaos that's been going on elden ring all this stuff man I, it's just been hell for the boy lately uh but what i really wanted to do is to relax out and watch some state of the play with you guys to see if there's any other uh playstation games coming up in the near future that might be fuego so without further ado let's see what they got cooking on the playstation and I'm not re-recording the whole thing, just this first game. I did see this intro, but I'm going to re-watch the intro with you guys so you can watch it with us. Us? Me. You. Hello, Shut up. viewers. I am Ivy the Android. I'd like to share today's dinosaur forecast. A dinosaur outbreak will soon occur. So first I heard that, and I'm like, dinosaur forecast. Let's go. Residents in the affected area have been evacuated. I see that, and I'm like, Anthem? Anthem dinosaurs? What are we doing here? A vortex warning has been issued. Please remain indoors. And that sounds like the broadcast is going out to the people. Which is weird. And it's just a bunch of dinos. Like, what's going on? That's like in-game. And it's going Capcom. I was like, wait, is this Torok or whatever the game is? Get your crew, your motley crew here. I make a sense of this situation. You can even find a chance to wreck this for two years. All I wanted was Plot. the IBS to stop by. IBS's latest dinosaur forecasts add XOC technology. So or here it goes. Human the, pretty much like the things. You can see that they got like the basic like MMO thing. You got the shooter, the the melee guy, the shield guy, and a gunner up top. You see the like the the healer supportish type, basic generic guy, massive guns, cut through all the dinos. For some reason, taunts and tanks, healing something, go in and out. PlayStation Plus is required for online. Cheating. Got the Reinhardt shield. Uh oh. Okay, I haven't seen anything up up to this point now. Now everything's fresh. Probably that's all they're gonna show anyway. But oh, okay. Oh, that guy didn't put, get the DLC. Unfortunately, Exforial, Exprimal. Sorry, Exoprimal. That looks sick. That looks pretty good. Another Exo fighter recruit, right? Welcome to Ivius. Metal Gear. Ooh, next year though. Oh, that's pretty good. You know, I don't. Is there anything we're waiting for next year? It's like a horror <laughs> Tokyo <laughs> horror game. <laughs> Time for a jaunt of the Elder World. Is this in game? Kinda? No, not really. That's in game. Oh, yeah, it's like a first person game. Like, I deeply don't understand what's going on. Oh no, Mary. Give me your body, I'll save your sister. Hunt for the truth. Oh god. Harness your power. Ew. 
It looks just insane. I don't know. Like, it looks a little too crazy for me. And it's coming out near the end of this month. It looks like a good game, but it looks too nuts. Oh, is this uh, the uh, Final Fantasy game? Kind of forgot about it, if I'm being honest. This is the, oh uh, yeah, Chaos. Stranger of Paradise, there it is. New oh wow so the, another demo is available Later today. today. Visit PlayStation Store to download a new demo for Stranger of Paradise: Final Fantasy Origin. That game seems now pretty hard. Jump into the world of Forspoken with some all new gameplay. This is like the only game that I've been like one of the only games I've been really really looking forward. This is like the second to Elden Ring, like the next game I really want to play, and like do the whole story and stuff like that. Everything here wants to kill you, kind of way. Luminous Productions. This is. It's like my Kenna Bridge of Spirits. It just looks really way too good. Oh no. I gotta mute it. Cause they wanna have personal music in there. Well not personal, like real music. Now I've seen gameplay of this game before. Like like they've been showing more gameplay recently, how crazy it looks. Then again, I don't know, maybe I can... Maybe this is okay. Maybe they won't copyright it. Who knows? You'll know by hearing weird video game music. Like, she just has too many powers. A little skippity-dippity. Framity framity. Actually makes me want to check. Am I in the highest frame rate? No, it's 1080p, 60 frames, but you know, they're broadcasting it. It'll probably look better Let's like when it's a video. This is like a live stream. Like it looks like Dark Souls. Like it looks so Soulsy. Like it's so weird. Oh, they actually that, is that an official release date? October 11th. Wow. Some 6v6 action in Gundam Evolution. A fast-paced multiplayer shooter coming to PS4 and PS5 later this year. 6v6, huh? Isn't that some stuff? Now, I like always like the, the concept of Gundam. Like, oh, copyright me, daddy. I feel it deep in my soul. First person. See, like, I don't want a first person Gundam. I want to see my Gundam. I want to see my mechanized suit. Oh, music. Some camera angles adjusted for trailer use. Three competitive game modes. Capture the flag, or uh, point capture, okay. Domination. Looks very Overwatchy. Destruction, like, I mean like the UI. Reminds me of Overwatch. Not gonna lie though, not doing it for the boy. Let me know why I post in the comment section below. This ain't this ain't doing it for me. I, I'm looking for more ability-based games. I don't want them to be just shooters. Ninja Turtles. Why not? Oh God no. Oh, is it one of those like play all the old games? Get a slice of the action. Wait, there's a fighter? Kawabunga! Turtles in a half shell, turtle power, Casey Jones. Oh, oh, why you kick her in the face like that? So is it like all the games? I, where is it? Turtles in time, that was my shit. The Kawabunga collection. Konami and Nickelodeon, like stop. I just don't, I don't care. 
There we go. Look at this. Flower guy, slug guy, mole guy. What? What is this? Come on. What is this? Okay, that guy's cheating. He's clearly cheating. What the hell? Okay, I'm picking that guy. Is it like Giga Giga Bash? It's, it looks like a um a cartoony evolve, like one v one v three. Giga Bash comes to PS4 and PS5 later this year. Yeah, like cause like Next, one was the first thing. Fan fighting game three. makes a beautiful and bizarre return. Fan fading fighting game makes a brilliant what what who what what what's going on? <laughs> when a fighting game starts off like this. Uh. Fighting game? Persona? Redoing Persona? I'm clueless. Jojo? Some of the inherited blow. Oh, no, 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 no. That guy's fighting on a horse. Wait, is it three? Is it 3D? I don't watch this show. Yeah, it looks like it's a 3D fighter. Arena fighter, so you can go left and right. There's a lot of talking. I'm deeply confused. That was a lot of aggression. <laughs> like, way more aggression than I'm used to. Are those all the characters? 50 playable characters? Wow. That is a shot right there. Most uh, most fighting games do not have that many characters. And I don't even know, like, are, are those like mirror characters? Like, there's this guy, but then it's like this guy when he was in the spring. And then, you know, like Naruto does that all the time. A lot of Naruto games do that. They're like, well, it's Naruto. Then you have young Naruto. Then you have uh, Naruto after you learn a Rasengan. Like, but is there actually 50 characters? Like, they all look decent. And I know that they have like, it's like a, not a persona, but it has like a separate self. I don't know. That looks cool though. But I know a lot of the times they rag on anime fighters and they rag on them because they're like 3D because you can go left and right. A big love for 2D fighters, but this one looks pretty cool. And it's like the same art style as the actual anime or at least the anime clips that I've seen. <laughs> oh my. Oh, he's dead. What the? Goes to Shishima? Trek to Yomi. It's like a left right. It's a scroller. Oh, my loss. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I don't like the black and white, but... You can fight your way out of hell. Oh, you got bodied. If it's not black and white, I'd like it. But with it being black and white, I'm not a fan. Yeah, sorry. I'm just not a fan of the black and white. Like, I wouldn't want to play a whole entire game like that. Yeah, PlayStation Studios. Trapped in an endless cycle. Okay. Fighting. Returnal. Fighting. Returning. I feel bad. My coworker let me borrow Returnal, and I did not play it. <laughs> I'm not alone. Not anymore. Wait, Returnal co-op? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Why? I stand before the endless tower. 
slippery climb, as Sisyphus did, pushing the boulder upward. No matter how high I climb, the challenge begins again. But I fight on through the infinite. Like what? Seeking answers. Seeking ascension. So like, does it continue the story? Because I know a lot of people are confused about the story. Tower, and I will find it. And I wonder, is this game like, can you play the first part of the game with a person? Ascension update. Okay, so it's an update if you have the game and it's coming at the end of this month. Dear God. Housemark is bringing campaign co-op and a mysterious new survival mode to Returnal Ascension. Survival a mode. Free update hitting this March. Free update as well. That's insane. It's almost time to sign off, but before we do, let's get a first look at two brand new games coming from Square Enix. Now, I saw this like when I first initially clicked on this. Is this really what you want? I was like, oh, the state of play is up. And it was showing we this. What we are doing and for the people of the I'm going to let it rock, but yes. it didn't look that great to me. I suppose it would, in a sense. It, it didn't look, it didn't hit. True. Yes. Yes. It made me wonder, am I still that same person? Like, Square Enix has like a jillion of these games, I feel. That's, that's the problem. The era of myths gives way to an era of great turmoil. Oh, it just and shows it. However, one nation remained unaffected by the chaos. Really? The kingdom of Alatane. Oh my. Ward of the Orgus looked destined to have its soil stained with the blood of battle. Exactly. We finally like, been it's the on. it's the art We're style. Against the Empire's main arm. It's it's different. We are to eradicate but... every last Imperial who comes ashore. Keep focused. Wait, what? No, this is not the game I saw. It's the one after this one, actually. It's like a fire emblem. This is a fire emblem. I can't comprehend it. Oh my. I I lied. This is I like this one. So then what should we do now? I like this one. It's I guess it's the one after this one. This is our chance while they're all assembled. We should send our best and crush them. That's right. All the more reason to avoid bloodshed. Because, honestly... It also likely means that we're in danger. That's all Fire Emblem really needs, like, more graphical stuff. Like, it, like the strategy aspect of it, the XCOM aspect of it is, like, slow and, like, some boring for some. But if you make it more cinematic, I think that it, it brings that, that's the next tier that they already need. Same thing with XCOM. XCOM had graphics and abilities like this. I think that XCOM would be even more popular than it already is. I suppose it is the only way for us to survive. But this looks cool. Like, this looks like... Honestly, it sucks that it's PlayStation because it looks like something I'd prefer to play on my phone, uh, not phone, like a Switch. And that's coming this year too, Dia Field Chronicles. I'm probably gonna rewatch this and I I've been trying to be a good boy and like write down my things, like write down when games are coming out. This was the game I was kind of disappointed in. Some camera angles adjusted for trailer use. Yeah. In an unjust world, what will you choose? If the will to fight still lingers within you, I'm like, eh. Then accept my offer. Eh. And join me. And she has like a, a minion. Like, I don't think that's another player. I don't think it's two player co op. Ragnarok tears our world asunder. Only hope precious lies on the brink of annihilation. I don't know. Become my tool of intervention and save this world from doom.
Like, it looks okay. But if it's full price, I, I wouldn't even dare. Valkyrie Elysium. It just looks like something I've seen like too many times before. It doesn't it doesn't pop too much. This is also coming this year. Your efforts to remain undetected. But I'll tell you one thing. Reveal yourself. This shit kinda hot though, I'm just saying. See that walk? The curly hair, the smirk, the lips. Oh baby. Hey baby. That's all for today. Tell we'll me see you soon with another state. Wow. Of play. That's insane. I, that was the last thing I actually saw like when I first clicked on the, the video and I went all the way back to the beginning and I'm thinking like okay I'm like they're like midway <laughs> that's it so what are those games were you guys excited for were there none you things you were excited for or were there they were excited for everything now for me uh, like I already said Forspoken was pretty cool the dinosaur game looked cool I could see it being a little bit lacking and it also could be screwed up like the, the game the other game that came out my friend was talking about uh, what was it? I don't even remember the name of it. It just came out and it's, you know, it's a very similar kind of game of uh, MMO-ish. MMO Lite, I like to call it. I can't even remember. Why can't I remember the name? Oh, I feel so bad. That The dinosaur game at least has a different angle. You, you haven't, for it's pretty much zombies. It's pretty much like a zombie game, but it's instead of zombies, it's dinosaurs. You know, and they could make you fight, you, you know, old favorites, uh, or they could fuse them. Maybe they'll even go like uh, Horizon Zero Dawn territory, where it's like, you know, they they start fusing with the machines or something like that. You know, there's a lot that they can do with the uh, Evo Primal, or I think that's it, Evo or Exo Primal. There's a lot that they could do with that. Uh, the other games that I said that that Fire Emblem S game seemed pretty spicy as well, because it, it, like again, it's just it's Fire Emblem. It's tactics kind of game but it has more graphics and I think that that's just that is where it comes together I think even if you think of like um darkest dungeon like stuff like that or like just the, like the slight implications of more graphics instead of it just being like gunshots and you know the more abilities you know or the mage stuff like I think that's where that those type of games really kick in and uh, I feel like that's it, of course, Forspoken, but, the, you know, showcasing more stuff. If you haven't looked up into it, they're kind of keeping the hype going for the game by showing you a little bit more, hey, this game's still coming out. They dropped the release date, which I think was October, which is great because I don't have any money. <laughs> Outside of that, I think that, you know, PlayStation just kind of showcasing a couple games, especially some new IPs coming out. And uh, again, YFOs in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about uh, the state of play. Uh, March 9th, 2022. Anyway, MFO, I think it was fantastic. Outside, of, I, I think I only didn't like two games out of it, you know, which is kind of a big thing. Oh yeah, the Ghostwire game, it looked kind of weird. Uh, looks good, but weird. Like, I wouldn't buy it, but I'll watch it. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in... God, I have to stop doing that. Peace.